Good morning, dear children. Now I'm here to explain the last question. Which one you have given yesterday? La, look here. So now, first one is what? Write a program to accept a string. Okay, to accept a string and replace e with star. Suppose any string is given here. Suppose s a n e t. Sonnet, yeah, something is given. So then, what will you write here? You will write it s a n star t. So this one I want. So how can you solve this question? So my dear, in this one, one one character you will extract. First you will extract e s. Now you will check s is equals to equals to e or not. Suppose e, then place of s you will put there star. Okay. Next one is what a. Extract a and check is it equals to e or not. If equals to e, then you will replace with the star. Same thing, each character you will check here. So how can you do this one? Find out the length of this one and start from 0. 0 means carrot 0, carrot 1, carrot 2, carrot 3, carrot 4. Its length is what? 5. So less than 5 you will go. Clear? So now I start it here. So what I have written here first, I have written here import Java, ABC, public static void main, string S, S1 I have taken here, one good luck, its value is null int l scanner you know this one so now here i have written enter the string till here you know so now your string is in what where in is it in it is in s okay so now find out the length of the string how can you find out s dot length okay so now i will extract one one letters okay so how will you extract so you start the loop, you write the loop from 0 to less than L. L is what? Less length of the string. Suppose M E N T. Ment is written here, M E N T. So now, first of all, you will extract M. So how will you extract? You write down here S dot caret I. I is what? 0. You know this one I is 0, the caret 0 will go in CH. So what is in CH? You know M. So you can see here in question given here convert in lower case that's why i have already converted in a lower case you see pay attention here okay so your string is in lower case so first of all what will go in ch m so now you compare m with a so my dear please pay attention once again you can compare you can use here double equals to for the character you can use because character always will compare with the ASCII value. So you can use here equals to, but not with the string. Okay, with number and character you can use equals to. So why I have written, that's why I have written here what? Equals to. So CH equals to single quote E, E is a character. So if both are equal, then what will happen? But M, E and T. So first one is what? M. So it will not come in this one. It will go here. So S1 is what? Your good luck. So that is a blank. Here what will happen? S1 plus C. What is in C? H, M. So M will come here. Now it will be here. So now I will increase the, now what will be the value of I? I will be here 1. So caret 1 will go in CH. Okay. So now you can see what is in CH? E. Easier. So now this condition will be true. This one this condition will be true, nothing is here, this condition will be true, so true means what, M E N T, you know this one, M E N T, is here, so already what is stored in your string, S1, M, so E is true, then what will you write here, S1 plus, S1 means what, M, M plus star, so what will be the value of here, M star, next you will, your cursor will come here, now N will come out, okay, so M, N is no, N will come out, N is what? That is not E. So you will be here. So already what is in S1? M star. Then what will be the answer? M star N. Then you will go for T. Then M star N T. So final answer, M star. What will be the final answer? M star N T. That one you can print here. So I think आप सबको समझ में आ गया होगा. Thank you. God bless you. If any doubt, you can call me.